All right, welcome to this Debaco University student series video. We're gonna be taking a look at three week old clones, giving you an update as well as a visual evaluation of their roots. I'm sure you can tell by the image, it turned out quite well. All right, so before I get into the three week uh, clone update and visual root evaluation, uh, I just wanna give you some background information here very briefly. First off, there was a light change, went from a Fluence Spider Plus 660 watt LED to the Agrobrite Designer T5s uh, running at 260 watts, and those are fluorescents, and we see both of those in the image right here, and links uh, down below for more information on both of those lights. In addition, just kind of the clone age comparison did have some difference in age. Uh, these are the three week old clones here on the left that you can see in the cloner and kind of the zoomed in uh, images here, and then week and a half old clones here on the right, just so you can see the difference uh, between that week and a half to three week old clone. And then lastly, the water conditions. So. They were basically left untouched for about the uh, three weeks there. Uh, only the pH really needed some slight adjustment uh, after some more water was added because you wanna make sure you're keeping that at the proper, proper height for the cloner. So now let's get into the video. So this is an update since the last time we've came and seen our clones. Pretty much since the last time we switched out our lights from the Fluence um, LED lights to some fluorescent lights from Agrobrite. I'm gonna be taking a live comparison of our LED versus fluorescent lights to show you why we opted to use our fluorescent lights for our clones rather than the more intensive LED lights. So at plant level here, I'm reading at 240. Now remember we have two of our lights off up here, so only four of our lights are going, but 200 is a perfect level for clones of this size versus at the same plant level, an 800 par meter rating over on this side with our LED lights. Now there is no reason to really have this much light penetrating our baby clones here, so it would make much more sense to opt for the 200 par reading as opposed to 800. We also took some more clones from outdoors. These were taken about a week and a half ago in comparison to the original ones we took three weeks ago. Looking at our monitor for our conductivity and pH, we're seeing that our conductivity is at 710, which is a little high, but it's good enough. Our pH is at 7.1, which is a little more basic than how we would like it to be. So we could add some of our pH down to make it more acidic and maybe bring it down to a good 6.6. Now we're gonna check our clones to see how well they're rooting. As you can see, this side is a lot more developed than this side, and this is because these have been developing for about a week and a half more than these have. 